What up, YouTube? I just got off work. You know how it is. You know, I'm just I'm just an 18 year old trying to make a living. Look at my hair. I'm getting braided again soon, but you know, I just, I gotta pay for my dream somehow. I, I come here so I can do this, right? Um, but today we're basically just gonna um some dudes watching. Me. As you can see by the title, I don't know if I put an intro before this or not. I probably did. But anyway, we're gonna be upgrading my uh, uh, flabs enclosure, my baby I, I, adolescent, juvenile. My, my baby, hmm, it's like four months old. What do you call four month old? It's a baby, right? Yeah, my baby pixie frog, right? My baby pixie frog. Um, Right now, I think I'm gonna head to, I'm gonna head to Pet Supply. And I'm gonna grab something. It's called a Pet Supply Plus. It's actually right next to my work. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go on and get on over there. So let's go. All right, so we're here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous to film in there. Bro, doing YouTube's gotta be one of the most embarrassing things in the world. I love it, I love filming, I love making content. All right, I'm gonna go in here. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not gonna be a little Scaredy cat, I'm gonna have to do it. All right, here we go. Look at little guy. That's my finger. Look how small he is. I got a Chinese water dragon. We're not, we're not here for the animals. All right, all right. So I'm getting this terrarium molds. All right, but then stuff. Should I get this one or this? I really want this. I just don't know how expensive it is. So we're gonna see how much this is, or else I'm gonna get. I guess we'll see. All right. So I just got everything. Let me show you what I just got. So what I ended up getting was ah, get out of the bag. I got this little eyed form. Oh, uh, I think I might, that, that would be fine for him for a long time. Not a long time, but I got this little hide. I think it was like six bucks. What's on the cover? Total, all right. And I got this terrarium moss. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it over the hide to make it look better. This was, I think, 10, 9 90 something. Total came out to 17 bucks. So for these two, 17 bucks. Sorry for this angle, I have it on my wheel now. But, um, so now, I want to get him a little, uh, get him out of that 10 gallon because he just doesn't use it. So I'm gonna get like a little uh, plastic square container. Not even long, get it. It's a square one if I can find one. I'll have to put him in. So I'm gonna head over to Home Depot, which is right over there. This place is nice, that has everything right on the strip. So, my three minutes, I'm gonna head over to Home Depot, see if I can get the little square. And uh, yeah, that'll be everything. All right, so Home Depot didn't have any good ones. Um, well, not they didn't they had good ones, but they didn't have any of the size I needed So my desk or the place I'm putting it is 17 inches or 17 inches by four, no, 17 inches by 14 inches one of those two and uh, this is the closest I could get it was 17 inches by 11 and one eighth so this will have to do but um good thing about this is it's originally six bucks, right? With the lid is $5.99. But one of the employees stacked in the wrong spot. And when I saw it, it said $3 on it. So I got it for three bucks. So that's good. They mixed around the small ones with the large ones and they stacked them in the wrong spot. So they just gave me it for three bucks, which is nice. So 17 plus three, that's 20 bucks. Or it's like 21 dollars. So yeah, and I already have the dirt. So this is like a $21 tank setup for a Pixie Pro. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back home. All right, so this is where he, all right, um, so this is where, actually I had him down there. Don't mind all this. It's, my water heater is leaking. And it soaked my mattress and all my shoes. I'm just gonna, mm. but I originally had him down there, but I hated him down there because I never got to see him and no one ever seen him. And he was just in this. Look at this, weak, pathetic cage. Water bowl and dirt, that's literally all he had. It's pathetic. Dude. I have no idea what that is, but this cage is pathetic. So I'm gonna upgrade him. There he is. He's like three and a half months old. 
the only reason, usually you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl at this age, but the only reason I know for sure it's a boy, because I had a another one, they were born at the same exact time, I bought them both, they were, came out of the same clutch. Another one was like, the female was like this big, and he was twice her size and he ended up just eating her. So that was sad, but even though this is low key a smaller enclosure, it's gonna be better, cause look, our original plan was to put Echo in there, but it doesn't fit. So, I'm just gonna slide this. Oh, let me take this. Ah! I dropped it off. And the lid's on. It fits perfectly right in there, baby. Yeah, well, I'm kinda glad that stuff fell out, cause look, now I can just use it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all that dirt into there. And I'm gonna put that water bowl in there, too. All right, so I took most of the dirt and put it in there. It's a couple inches thick. As you can see, definitely enough for him to bury two times over. But that this black dish doesn't fit in there very well. So he's gonna have to he's gonna have to go without look at that. <laughs> Super warm. But uh he's gonna have to go out without a water bowl for a while. Um until I can find a better one. So he's just gonna have to go with a uh, sucking up the moisture through the dirt. So I'm gonna have to keep spraying him. But it's in a tub, so it's gonna keep its humidity very well. But I want to go ahead and get the hide in and the moss. And uh, and I'll see you guys when I get that stuff in. All right, I have the moss soaking in there. And this is what I did so far. So I went ahead, I got, I dug him out a little area. I don't know if you guys can see down in there. So we can, it sells dirt so we can dig in there and then hide. And then over here, it comes up over the top. We'll put some moss over the top and I guess a little bit down up in there. So yeah, it's gonna look good. All right, so I actually, with that moss, went ahead and put some in here in my Emerald Swift enclosure. I put some over his little hide, put some on that stick, some back in that corner and some back in this corner. Hopefully, um, since I'm spraying them every day, keep the humidity up. One, the moss will help keep the humidity up. And two, hopefully it'll, it'll start inserting its roots into that tree and into the ground and stuff. And uh, start a little bioactive enclosure. Maybe add some springtails and stuff in there. It's gonna, it's gonna look nice. Hopefully Eddie has a good life ahead of him. So I'm actually just gonna close that up. Say what's up to Tank, what's up to Uguay. Paco's in there somewhere. I think I'm actually gonna get some more cocoa fiber, like two bricks. And mix it up in with this back, back, uh, fiber. Back, back, back. I think this is just too dry for him. Give me some a little more humid. And then here is what I have so far with Flab's enclosure. I put some uh, moss on the top and just sprinkled some throughout the cage and in the corners. And a little, oops, and a little in his path to his little cave. So yeah, hopefully this is, uh, turns out real well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put him in. Let me actually grab him. And you don't wanna hold him for too long. Just because uh, their skin and your oils in their skin don't do good either. So yeah, I'm actually gonna spray him. Where's my water bottle? Spray? Yeah. I just power spray. It's just a little spray water bottle I got from the dollar store. Oh, and I have some more moss soaking up back there. Hopefully I can get some to grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak down his enclosure. <laughs> there he goes, he's in his hide already. Yes, sir, that's what I was hoping for. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak this. And since I don't have the holes drilled, look at me. Since I don't have the holes drilled in this lid yet, or in the sides, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like this over half just to help keep some humidity in at least but look he's down he's up in there let's go this works out great so yeah i'm just gonna leave it look like that i'm actually gonna cover the side of his house because he can't get out under there he might be able to i don't think he can but just to be safe i'm gonna keep it like that so i get some holes drilled so yeah there's this 120 dollar setup for your pixie frog all right guys so there you have it there's a little 20 dollar i think it would probably be around 24 but it ended up being 20 bucks for me, like $21 for me for my uh, Pixie Frog setup, new enclosure. Hopefully he likes the new enclosure. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, his growth in the future. And uh, yeah, um, right now he's about three and a half months old. 
So if you have a pixie frog, he's about the same size, they're probably around the same age too. So I don't know why I still have this hat on, but that's probably why. Because my hair's all flat. But, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to post more on this, vid on this channel. I took a little break just because I got a new job and I wanted to get my schedule right with the job. But now that I've worked there for two to three weeks, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making some more more bangers on this video, so or on this channel. So if you liked, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment. Share with two of your friends. One of the friends being your mom. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Just uh, just comment what you guys want me to do. I really love this channel. I want to keep posting content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.